Hey guys and welcome back, today I'm going to show you how to make a FC24 thumbnail. If by the way you want to follow along to this tutorial but you don't have Photoshop, in the upper right corner I actually have a video to Photopea. It's an alternative to Photoshop which you can use to follow this tutorial. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr. And here as you can see on my Fiverr you can get a logo or a banner or both for your YouTube channel if you want. But now back to the video. But anyway, let's jump right in. We're gonna make a new file. I'm actually gonna do 920 by 1080 pixels. The resolution can be on 300. Make sure that the color is RGB. And I do the background on white, but that's a preference. I'm just gonna do okay here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open the first image here. I'm gonna go to file and go to place linked. As you can see, I have these items here. I'm just going to start by placing this background here. Okay, so just going to make it fit to the screen here and say something like that. So that overlays a bit over the sides just to be safe. I'm just going to place this in the middle here. By the way, make sure that this right here, the maintain aspect ratio is selected and it stays the same ratio all along. So I'm just going to click OK here. Now what I'm going to do first is actually make this black and white. There we go. What I'm actually going to do is go to filter and camera raw filter. Now, if you don't have camera raw filter, what you can also do is simply go here, up here to adjustments and use the brightness and contrast, or you could use levels or the curves these will all affect like the basically the contrasts and the shadows the brightness the whites and the blacks of an image but i just have the slightly more detailed version here but don't worry i will go over it pretty quickly exposure a little bit down then the contrast i want actually quite a bit up highlights as well and this is really up to you you wouldn't be able to tell that much from, from the thumbnail how it will look but it's still pretty important there we go the texture is actually something we have to look out for together with the clarity which gives this nice look, you know, black and white to even look better. Let's actually make sure that the sky isn't that visible. It's not really necessary, actually. There you go. Just I think I'm going to keep it like this. Just click OK here. As you can see, it just generally makes it look better. It's a detail, but it's nice to know. Then what I'm actually going to do is go right here, put a shape over it. There you go. Actually going to place it in the middle as well. Just make sure it overlays the image. And then what I'm going to do down here is to normal and actually do multiply. And now as you can see, because the image is a bit dark, we can always go to adjustments and for example, just do some of the brightness and contrast here. So I think it's nice if we put the brightness quite a bit up here, just to make it a bit brighter and clearer. There we go. So as I said, we don't have to touch it that much. Now actually to add us a little bonus here, we're going to go down in the right corner, add a new layer right here, and I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to go to the brush tool, and we are probably going to keep the same color here, and we want to make this quite big. We're basically going to do the, um, just going to do some highlights in the corners here. Nothing too crazy, but it adds that nice extra little detail in there. So actually let's then add another image, which is going to be Haaland here. Think around uh, around 20, something like that. So I guess I'm going to keep them in this corner right here. Obviously, there's way too much of a difference between the background and uh, Haaland here. So we need to change this color. I actually already made them black and white beforehand. So as you can show you down here, you make it black and white. You can also do that with a PNG image such as this one. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to go back to camera raw filter. As I said, you can use the brightness and contrast or the curve and levels. I give it a bit more contrast because the image is a little bit too light in general. So we're going to have to give him a bit more contrast overall. But you can always accentuate certain details of the image. There you go, same. We want to put the texture and the clarity quite high because it gives that nice detailed look to it. Now, I don't want to do it too much here. That's the trick. Let's keep it like that, actually. It's fine. Now, something else that I want to do is actually add a sort of kind of glow around him because now it's just a black and white image on the background. The so same, we're going to add a new layer here again, down right in the corner. Use a brush, obviously going to make it smaller here. And what I'm going to do is pretty much just follow along here his body. Obviously, it doesn't look good right now yet, but uh, you'll see afterwards what i'm going for here i don't want to overlay too much actually this also counts i guess and then i want to go to normal and actually go to linear dodge add and as you can see there goes the glow that we want actually so what i'm going to put now is actually the logo there we go make it a bit smaller here and also we don't need the ea logo so just going to remove that here you can just select it right here make sure the image itself is selected in case it isn't done rasterize layer and then you can just do backspace it will remove it and there we go and now if you click on it we just have this part right here. So in black, you don't really see it. So I'm going to make this white. I'm going to double click on it. It's going to give layer style color overlay. You can see it was already on white. That's good. I want to make it a bit smaller here because it's too big. Same. Make sure that maintain ratio is selected. I was actually still a little too big. Okay, I guess this is good for now. Most important thing here is actually, I actually want to add the text here. I'm just obviously going to type thumbnail tutorial. There we go. Also had a font in mind already. This one right here. It's a bit cartoonish, but it, it goes quite well together with the thumbnail. Then same, I'm going to type tutorial here. Okay, so now we need to slightly make it bigger here. Last time I did this, the player actually uh, overlaid the text. 
it was Mbappe and I put him over the deck. So we'll see if we do the same thing. I don't want to repeat myself too much here. But I guess that is uh, one of the best options here in this scenario as well. I mean, we kind of have to. So let's just put these two together here. I guess I'm going to edit them together. So let's first do that. I'm going to do make sure that both are selected. I'm going to do Ctrl G. This will make a group. So now they're grouped. So that we actually can edit them together. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to start with a... So we're going to start with an outer glow here. Right here, make sure... Uh, I'm going to put the opacity all the way up. So actually make the spread all the way up. And let's see the size. Could be a bit less here. It's always nice to sometimes, from time to time, just look from afar how it looks. I guess it could be a little bit bigger. Not too much. And there you go. Let's keep it at that. And then let's drop shadow. Now we're actually going to make this more of a blue color, let's say. Now this could work as well. Let's see. Make sure the spread is on 100. And let's see how that works together. That actually works pretty nice, especially from afar. So let's see if... I'm hesitating if brighter is better here or a bit darker. That depends. We don't need to go too dark because otherwise it'll blend too much in with the first uh, outer glow here. And there we go. I think we're just going to meet somewhere in the middle here. Okay, I'm going to keep the size at that. So from up close, it doesn't look like anything too special. But we, of course, are going to change that afterwards. Now let's actually add a gradient to the word tutorial here. So we're going to have to change these colors around here. Make one quite bright, actually. And the other one not too dark okay let's see about that let's go back to the word tutorial and let's add it like that i think that's good now comes actually a bit more of a tricky part here where we have to make sure that this right here is actually gonna be it's actually gonna fit in the thumbnail itself you know what i actually have to do this differently i think i should have made this a convert to object so i'm just gonna ungroup this so i'm just gonna do this do convert to smart object and then uh, i'm quickly gonna re-add the effects here okay there we go fortunately he remembered it so i'm just gonna click ok here because i did that because now i actually can change this more specifically its perspective you probably already get the idea what i mean here so we'll kind of have to do it like this. There we go. Make it approximately in the middle here. There we go. I kind of had to play around this arm a little bit. So it's not really that perfect. But I guess we're going to roll with this. So then we're going to do the same for this one here. I'm going to add perspective. Okay, same like this. We want it to go a bit further. Then actually have to rotate it a bit, I think. There we go. That's fine. It's quite discreet anyway. Now I actually wanted to add something extra still. Before adding the filter. There's actually some particles here. Now it's not really that sharp this image but you'll see that that really doesn't matter there you go just make sure we placed on top pretty well now first on top i'm actually gonna add some filters first i got them from gfx pack so if you want once again if you're in photoshop or even photo p you can actually go online on the internet download a pack it will be a psd so make sure it's actually a psd which is a photoshop file and as i said you can actually import it into photoshop and photo p and so make sure there are also some filters in there if you want those so the reason i'm gonna start with this gonna watch one by one well obviously one i'm not gonna do red here orange no it's always a bit picky you have to choose what goes best over for the image in question okay so there you go i went with green here now the reason i wanted to do the filter first you can see here from far because i was going to add the particles here so the reason i actually put the filter first here which you do normally do as last because i wanted to see how the particles would react to it so i'm just gonna make it visible again and i'm gonna go here to up and i'm gonna do screen here as you can see right now it's still a bit of too busy there's too much right now but i actually just click but the only thing i really have to do is just go to my keyboard on my numpad and just select one of the uh, so that i can just change the opacity you can also change it right here by the way as you can see here is the percentage of the opacity out of 100 and you could just fix it yourself to what you like there you go i think i'm gonna keep it like this i actually forgot one small detail here i actually wanted to add a drop shadow to hanant here so that he overlays the text a bit better it's going to be a really small detail but pretty important and there we go we can keep it like that so there you go guys this is a pretty good idea on how you could make a fc24 thumbnail hope you managed to follow along pretty well if you have any questions leave them down below hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like it'll be really nice subscribe it also be really nice and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye